What it is, my channel, Peace and Grease here, bringing you another WDIF, or where do I find? And today we're talking Argon Crystals. So before we can get into the best location to acquire Argon Crystals, we must first discuss the, the stable and decay state of Argon Crystals. Now, if you've ever been in that situation where you were 100% certain you had Argon Crystals in your inventory and then suddenly you did not, there's a very good reason for that. And that is that in the game of Warframe, Argon Crystals are unique in that they're the only material that will disappear from your inventory over time. So effectively, if you don't use them, you lose them. Now that time is typically 24 hours in which your Argon Crystals will actually shift from stable to DK state and your supply will then be halved. This is why the majority of players in Warframe don't actually farm Argon Crystals in the true definition of the word since there's no really good reason to stockpile a huge amount of Argon Crystals when it's just going to disappear from your inventory. This is also why I recommend that if you have something in your foundry you're wanting to build that requires Argon Crystals, you acquire the Argon Crystal last because by the time you acquire all the rest of the resources, if it's taking you a day or two by the time you get back to it, there's a good chance your Argon Crystals have shifted to a DK state and you've actually already lost some supply. Now, the best location to get Argon Crystals is going to be the Void. Now, pretty much any mission in the Void has the potential to drop Argon Crystals. But, keep in mind, it is purely RNG based, meaning you could jump into any of these missions and come out of there with 23 Argon Crystals, or you could come out with 8 Argon Crystals, or 1 Argon Crystal, or worst case scenario, you could come out of these missions with 0 Argon Crystals, which has happened to me on many an occasion. But, the quote-unquote best location is going to depend is going to differ depending on who you talk to some are going to recommend a defense mission others are going to recommend a survival yet others are going to recommend a capture so depending on who you talk to you're going to get a different recommendation as far as what the quote unquote best location is my personal recommendation to you is pick your favorite mission type and just go ahead and run that one really really easy now, I can tell you my personal favorite, and my personal favorite location is going to be to Shub. Uh, it's a really low-level, really easy uh, exterminate mission. Uh, but there is another reason why I tend to choose an exterminate mission over another mission. And if we look at a capture mission, for example, a capture mission is going to continually respawn enemies nonstop. An exterminate mission doesn't work that way. An exterminate mission actually spawns a set number of enemies and it doesn't continually respawn enemies. What this means is it allows you to search every single room in the tile set without being interrupted or bothered by enemies. Now, the downside here is that I do recommend you search every single room in the tile set. This does this is going to give you the best possible yields as far as argon crystals go now if you flat out cannot stand searching every single locate every single room or nook or cranny in a tile set that's okay it's not a problem uh i would rec recommend you probably stick with the defense type of mission and again there's nothing wrong with that now i did run a uh, to shove mission prior to this video and I can't show you the results from that and in my run I got six argon crystals running a necros and a smita kavat uh, and now I can tell you that I don't think six argon crystals is a lot I don't think it's a little I think it's right on average uh, I've run missions many a time where I've gotten zero argon crystals so it's right about on average now if you need a lot of argon crystals I recommend bringing your farming loadout. Now what I mean by your farming loadout is you're going to want a frame that can generate extra drops and you're going to want to bring a Smita Kavat as well as a yellow resource booster. Now those frames for farming are going to be your Ivara with her third ability Prowl which gives you a 100% drop chance. You have got Hydroid with his fourth ability and a Syndicate Augment called Pilfering Swarm which gives you 100% drop chance as long as enemies are entangled in Hydroid's fourth. You then have Necros who has a 50-ish percentile range drop chance. And then finally you have Atlas with his Syndicate Augment or Gaze which gives you a 25% drop chance. So all of those are going to give you the best potential uh, 
max amount of argon crystals that you can get from a mission. But suffice it to say, that wraps this video up. I hope it helps you out. Let me know in the comments section below how your argon crystals going, uh, farming is going. And until next time, peace and grease.